Because you're going to ask me questions like before, right? Yeah. So I'm here with Lola. And how have you been? I've been doing good. I haven't seen you in forever. It's been forever. I mean, the last video was when I was like, what, 19 or like 20? Yeah, I was like... That was a long time ago. 2012. I looked earlier. There was the last one was just you. You were on a red couch wearing black. Oh my god, I haven't seen that video in a while. There was I that one. That. And I was all. There was. I did not look good in that one. I think you looked alright in that uh, one. I think I looked pretty messed up. And then <laughs> before that one, there was the one with Sharice uh, at the Safeway parking lot in Everett. Bright, as, bright red as motherfucker yes. from tanning. Yes. Using our Tingles uh, uh, tanning lotion. That's too funny. I know. So, I mean, like, do you get, like, a lot of views for these or something? I didn't even look how many views were there. I don't know. I just, I remembered earlier because I wanted to check it out. Oh, I had a question, too, because I've been thinking something that bothered me. I know you're going to remember this. We shot a video where you, Sunny, and myself were in bed together. Yeah. And I started going down on Sunny, and then you woke up. Get out of the way. Let me show you how to do that. And then you went down on her. Right. Why did we do that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I we did that. We were starting it out for a face hitting video. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I remember that. I was just like, it was both of us. Yeah. And then we, well, we didn't, we talked about it before you guys were, before you came or something like that. And then, and then I fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the only thing that would have made that more awesome is when you were eating her and then I started eating you. That would have been pretty epic, but... We probably would have got a lot of hits on that video. Yeah. I got a lot of, of, of guys calling about those videos, too. A lot of guys would call about that. Really? Yeah, say that, uh, oh, you do face hitting. There's, there's one that um, does face, that is, like, passionate about face hitting. Do you know what I'm talking about? Passion Thief. Yes. Oh that my guy. God. He has a queen chair. A queen uh, I will tell you chair. about him pink, afterwards. A pink one. <laughs> That's too funny. But he never comes through. Yeah, he's. And you can. Mm. Yeah. I figure. Because he messages everybody. My sister worked, uh, got on it, and she doesn't even. She doesn't do that kind of stuff. And. She so that he messaged her and like we did the same kind of shit. We didn't like he just went like, well, you can talk about me that for ages now, and I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm not getting any results. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many flakes on that side now. Yeah, it's just it's not like it was before. It's just mm -mm. It's... so many people just like say they'll meet like, like games and you know what I mean. I'm just you're just weird. Yeah. I met, I met I met one person that actually like he'll probably be in my life forever almost. Yeah. <laughs> like he's like my I there's like two that I have like that that um I mean one of them he thinks he's been seeing me since I was eighteen but uh, we'll just leave it there and um and and he's still in my life like even when I you know was not doing so good or in trouble like he was always there for me and he's my poo poo. <laughs> See that I. I respect and I love that. That's great. That's the kind of relationship that I should be. Like, I take care of him. He takes care of me. You know, like, um, we just have a bond and we always joke around. And, like, I don't know, we just, I used to stay the nice house. I've even lived with him for a period of time. Like, he's, like, he's my go-to person all the time, you know? We have a good, really good relationship and a good bond. I had that with my baby mom. And then she just, boop, gone. Yeah. Like, like left? Like, nowhere to be found? No, she with her boyfriend. Oh. See, I was seeing her for seven years, have two kids together, twins. And then now she doesn't come over anymore. Nothing. Doesn't talk to me, nothing. Just gone. Oh, because she got a boyfriend? Well, she's had him the whole time. Oh, was she mad at you over there? No, she just wanted to get her life together, and I told her that's cool, you know, but don't kick me out. That's and weird. Just... The, does the other daughter live with her? <sighs> No, the twins, it's a fucked up story. She had twins, told them they were his, they're mine, put them up for adoption. I've never even seen them. They live in Arlington. 
So this year I'm going to go tell them, hey, I'm your dad. Oh, that's drastic. They're going to be seven in April. So, yeah. But my littlest daughter, daughter, she lives in Everett. I see her every other weekend. I like her a lot. Oh, you don't have to smoke at all. But, it's so weird. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. I was curious if I was going to ever do one of these again. <laughs> Especially because I have them saved. I have the Safeway one saved to my, my, my page. Yeah. You know, but um, not, not the other well, I was one. curious if I'd ever see you again. I know. Well, I mean, God, I know. I didn't realize it's been seven, eight, seven or eight years since I posted on there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. Forever. It doesn't seem like it was that long. It feels like it was just yesterday that I was, you know, doing that kind of shit, you know, but, you know, it's crazy. I had someone just email me the other day. They went to treatment, like, in 2015. Now they're doing bodybuilding. She sent me her pictures, and she's, like, doing really good. Has a fiancé, and she's doing awesome. I'm like, that's great. Aww. She wanted me to help her out with, uh, with stuff back in the day. I'm like, sorry, I don't do that stuff no more. I'm just different. <laughs> Oh, and you are, because I, that's what, I mean, you, I really, I was, like, trying to get a hold of you when I wanted to get back into it, and so you could take pictures and stuff, and you're like, no, I'm like, what? Yeah, you I remember that. pictures? What? Things are changing. Yeah, because. Everybody's life is changing. This one, she wanted me to stay home, because I, I was, like, back in the day, every night in Seattle, driving around, you know, getting money, just doing stuff for people. Yeah. And then she's like, you're always gone. I'm like, can we stop? Fucking stop. I stopped everything. Yeah, I can tell. And so now I'm here. I'm doing okay. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Everybody that I talk to blows my phone up. Really? Oh my god. Like, I'm telling you, every person in my life, I need. Like, let's say we have something going on. Never once do I say what time I'm going to be there. Never long, do I want to say I mean, how long I'm going to be. Never once did I make any kind of promises. You know, I say I'll come when I'm done, when I get done with what I have to do. Yeah. And look, blowing up my phone, rushing me. <laughs> like, why the fuck are you rushing me? Like, I don't understand it. It just drives me absolutely insane. Like, I'm like I'm the kind of person that I'm a people pleaser, so I always try to make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. And I always alter my plans and my life for other people. And all it does is get me in a fucking bad spot, in a, you know what I mean, in a bad place, in, in a fucked up situation, and stressed out, and get, doing all types of bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it just, like, ruins everything in my life, and I keep doing it, and I'm sick of it. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. Can't even do it. Like, my friend had um, got, like, was where I was, um, was I where I was at, like, where he... Well, he actually just showed up there, and I was like, oh, my God, I haven't seen you forever. And then we were catching up, and I was like, I really have to go. I'm so sorry. So he rode with me to go pick up my kid, right? Yeah. And then in the middle of, the, in the middle of it, he was like, no, I need to go to Madison and, and do this and that. I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> I'm not taking you to that. Like, I have shit going on. I have shit planned. I'm late as hell. You know what I mean? Like, I've got to go pick up my kid. i got to do all this stuff. And you're not understanding. I'm done altering my life for other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have no problem including people in what I've got going on in my life. Right. And, you know what I mean? Kind of a little bit of adjustments, but you're not going to completely ruin what I have going on because I've, I've let it happen too many times to where all I do is I'm fucking myself. And who is, who, you know, when I'm sitting at the, you know, the bottom, you know, like looking for help, like where are they? Where do they go? I can't find them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this. Do you hear this <laughs> shit? Oh my God. Like, like I'm not married to none of these fools. Like none of these people. Why are you acting like we're married? <laughs> Even my sister thinks we're married. For some reason, I, I, they think I owe them something. I don't know what I owe them, but it's driving me crazy. Yeah. Like, are these my friends? Or are these really just people that gain something from being, in, you know, interact with me or for being, in, like, having a relationship with me? It's just like, I don't know. It makes me wonder sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You had mentioned that Sharice was out of state? Yeah. Uh, you mean, not Sharice, you mean Jessica? Yeah. So she, um, she, you lives in, um, uh, like Oregon. Yeah. Or Utah, Oregon maybe. Um, I think she went back to Oregon, but she, yeah, she's doing, um, her own thing and starting her own, her new, her own shit and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm proud of her and she came and visited and she really misses home and she's like, what are the, I don't have a Laura up here. I don't have, I don't have, you know, um, Sharice and I have Lola and I don't have, um, there's a girl named, K- well, you, Castellettos and then, yeah. um. Uh, Melissa and she's like I don't have all of you guys and you guys are the ones that are my rock that keep me going because her family's fucked up dude like her mom last time I saw her was in Seattle yeah you know um, so she grew up really tough and that's kind of where she gets some of her bad behaviors but she deep down is an amazing person and I just love her to death that's my best friend yeah she was always cool and we fight believe that but I would never, like, physically fight her. I mean, I'd let her, like, beat the shit out of me before I ever touched her. And I just love her. And, like, like I'm so mad at her until we, we just seen each other for, like, a couple years. And it's been really hard like that because I really miss her. Like, any girls I hang out with, like, just is, like, nothing like her. I've never had a relationship or a connection, like, with somebody like I have with her. Does she get rid of that boyfriend she had? JJ? Yeah. No. Oh. No. I remember her fucking Babies him. Babies and everything. Eesh. He's not going, he's never going anywhere. She's been obsessed with him since she was like 12. Wow. And he treats her like shit now. Yeah. He's going to treat her like how he treated his other baby's mom. Because I remember like once. She's putting up with it. My friend, my Sherry does not put up with that shit. Me, yeah. Neither do I. Like me and her always, if she would have told me something like that back in the day, I would have been like, Sharice. And I would give her a look and she'd be like, okay, fine. Yep, you're right. <laughs> I'm done. You're so right. What the fuck am I doing? And she'd just snap at it just from me giving her a look. You know, and when she did it to me, I'd be like, oh, yep, I already know. Like, we just had to give each other a look, and we already knew. And then, like, it would, like, make us be like, oh, yeah, hell no, you're not about to make me look stupid. Right. And then, like, he is, like, making her look like a damn dumbass and just fucking, like, a just an idiot, like a ditzy blonde or a fucking mentally talented moron. Oh, my God, I can't even believe it. Yeah, I remember they had a place in Seattle. I went down and seen him. Mm-hmm. And then he wanted me to do some work for him. He had, like, a... Hispanic Latina girl and then I went over there did my job and then it came it came time to get paid and he's like oh I gotta go sell the sack I'm like fucking hey yeah. so I waited I'm like you know what just get me on the next one so I could leave I was like fuck I'm not gonna wait around yeah I mean I'm helping you out but you, but you, you've got it like, most of the, like a lot of the girls on that site that you see they probably all are using uh a lot. Most of them? Yeah. Well, do you remember which one? Do you actually need some that are sober? Not really. I know, like, when I was a dancer, there was only one girl there that was there because she had a little girl and she was staying in that hotel that was right up the street by 156th or it's past 148th. And it's by the uh, Carhartt store. Okay. In Linwood? Yeah. And, um, and she lived in that little hotel that had his kitchen in it. Hella ghetto. Hella ghetto. It was like $40 a night or something. And she stayed there so that way she could pay, you know, she could afford living there. And she had bad credit and bad background. But she was going to school because she was taking care of her little baby by herself in there. And she had no family here. And she even paid for herself to go to school, too. And she did all of that that entire time while she was raising her daughter. And which is a soldier because my son would drive me absolutely crazy. It's so hard to focus with him. Like, if I... Martin's, my man's been in jail for a couple months and it has been so hard like he might get on my nerves and I think that he doesn't do shit for me but like the little dumbass shit he does do makes the hugest difference that he yeah. does that you know what I mean and it's just like um, I, I definitely will appreciate him, appreciate him a lot more just because he doesn't do as much as me I tend to you know over exaggerate it like he never does anything for me yeah. and I kind of need to rephrase that <laughs> just a little bit but yeah, you know, it sucks admitting you're wrong to somebody. Like I can do it to you, but I can't do it to his face. Yeah. Just because I just know he's gonna have that satisfaction. Was like, ah, right, right. It's just like, now nah, I just want to stop you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Like the key to this little smoking cigarette is to have beautiful nails. Okay? <laughs>
You got him the other day earlier. Yes, my girl is the shit, man. Look at this. You got his number. Mm. Look at that blank leg. Oh, yeah. Looks good. I know. I tell you my secret and who she is, but nope. I can barely book with her the way it is, and I'm not having any more at all. <laughs> she don't want no more work anyway. Shit. <laughs> My signature touch, though. Her nails, man. Yeah. She, I would give her a picture, and she literally does every picture that I bring to her perfect. Yeah. It's crazy. She's so filthy. It's, everything you see on Instagram, she does all of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so awesome. She's so good. I just want to be like that. And she buys all her stuff from Mexico, too. She's Mexican. She's not... I mean, no offense, but she's not Asian. <laughs> okay, like, they be, they're, Asians are hustlers, okay? Period, point blank, they're hustlers, and they hustle the shit out of you in those nail shops. <laughs> they swear to God, every single one of them. And they always say, I do anything for you, and then I get to a picture, and they're like, okay, this, and they're like, no, we don't do that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that was this, no, we don't do that. <laughs> the one of this one, no, we don't do that. I'm like, okay, so what do you do? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah. They charge you $5 a gen at most Asian places. Do you know how much money I would have paid for those? Yes. That's outrageous. I only paid 50 bucks. That's that's a good deal. Yeah. All places are that expensive. I would give it like two colors. Well, shellac is even $45. That's just all one color. Yeah, she's going to go get her nails done tomorrow. I got to give her some money. I got to shoot some. Well, I'll tell you on the sneak sneak. <laughs> if she wants to. She can look up her Facebook. Yeah. But you have to, she'll send you a link and then you have to, um, go to her appointment thing and that she has and then you schedule it whatever opening appointment there is oh. which it will be weeks out it won't be a walk-in yeah i was so pissed last time i went to get my nails done i told my person i was borrowing my car i get two and a half hours before my appointment was and said that i had to be there like 30 minutes after that so i said 12 30 or 11 30 he has to be here so that way i could make it seem like i have to be there by 12 right you know so that way i wouldn't be late so let me find out that they were late okay I'm calling him like, where the fuck are you? I had to schedule this appointment a month and a half ago because they don't have that many openings. If I miss this, I'm going to piss. I mean, he's thinking she just get her nails done. There's one every block. Yeah. No, bitch. There's not one every fucking block. Again, this is my shit. I have shit I have to do. You know, I have that shit planned. And I tried to text her to replan it, and she just sent me the link to reschedule, which I had to reschedule another month out on the 8th of this month, which is today. Okay? And it's just like, oh, my God. I just keep, like... It's so serious to make sure that you don't miss those appointments. And when people fuck it up for you, I I don't like it that other people touch my hands. I went to the mall and I'm pit. I was pissed. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that junk was, but they they just they left all the bubbles in under my nails. That just could have caused infections. They, one nail is too bulky. You know, one they're they're not the same length. Yeah, some I mean? places like, are hella dirty. She didn't say one word to me besides fucking about my nails, and she, like, act like she was just like, I don't, don't want to talk to you. You know what I mean? Like hella rude to me. Like. I wasn't ready to talk to you. I'm social. Yeah. I like to mingle and stuff, you know? And, oh, hell no. She acts rude as hell. Like, I just want to look at the, you know I'm the customer, right? <laughs> You're not at my salon. <laughs> I'm at your salon. <laughs> Shit. It's crazy. I can't smoke anymore. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, bye. Oh, bye, bye. I didn't know you were going to turn it off.